Hi, Professor Rogers. This is Erica. Um, I just want to give you a presentation on my unit plan. So it's obviously a 10-day unit plan on the lottery by Shirley Jackson. The subject is English language arts and the grade level is eighth grade. And so I completed five of the 10 lesson plans. All of them are set up so that way um, you can actually look in them and see what standards are being addressed and what handouts were given. Even I think the last four have student samples of their work. So basically, as I was teaching this lesson, um, these lessons, I should say, this unit plan to my students, we started out with an introduction, basic introduction to Shirley Jackson, who she was, who she was as a writer, what she was writing about, and the lottery in general. With that, I say made a segue into the vocab of the of the topic, and then into the literary terms. So the first four. The first three lesson plans are discussing basically background intro, vocab, and literary terms. In the in the third lesson plan, that's when we start reading the story. So I ended at a cliffhanger where the students, we end at everything clear right before they start the actual lottery in the class. Um, up to this point, as a class, we have already conducted a mock lottery, so the students know, kind of expect what to happen and um, they already have chosen a winner as a class but they don't know what they have won or what how it's gonna play out in the story so in the fourth class in the fourth class period we continue with the online reading we finish the story and I have the students annotate their texts um, learning how to highlight and basically annotate marks make notations on their text copy in order to use for the for their test as well as to identify which are their themes, irony, their other literary devices within the text. After we read the story, um, I would I don't want to discuss it. I just had them write in their reader writer journals basically their initial reaction to the text and that and we don't really get into the text till the fifth lesson where we actually start discussing what really happened, um, all the themes that were presented. There's five different themes in the story. Um, if the students can see the evidence of those themes within the story, I'm kind of just really talking about the implications that the story has, um, what Shirley Jackson's purpose was as an author. A lot of the kids kind of just dismiss, dismissed her as crazy. Um, in her bio, it did say that she was institutionalized for a short period during college. And so the kids kind of wrote her off as that, but trying to see her, they didn't understand how her story could be one of the great American stories. And so our explanations in class had kind of led to that her short story is one of the great American short stories because it doesn't necessarily mean that we like the story, but that it has created them to think and it caused a reaction out of them. And that's what her purpose was. So in the later lessons, um, I assigned a letter, two products that we that we worked on were a letter to the editor of the New Yorker, which is where the story was published, first published, and that's where it became banned after that. And so they had to write a letter to the editor either agreeing or disagreeing with the fact that they published a story and thanking them for saying thank you for publishing this or not. So there are two samples from two students of that letter. Or they had another option to write a diary entry journal, or journal entry as a diary, um, as if they were Tessie Hutchinson on the day before, on the day of the lottery, just before she died. So her final thoughts, what her feelings were. So I chose two of the students that I felt I really enjoyed their letters, and I felt that they understood the assignment. Also, um, the next class period, I assigned a newspaper article for the students. And the newspaper article was where they were pretending they were a reporter at the event and they saw what happened. And so they had to write a newspaper article on a legal side sheet of paper basically discussing what had happened, retelling the events, you know, they could put their own spin on it, whether they agreed with it or not, and they had to include a picture on it. So I included about four student samples of those, just of different types, different articles that they created their own. Um, we ended the unit with a formative, a formal summative assessment of a unit exam. So it was a twenty or ten questions on the front, on the back. They had to fill out a plot diagram, 
and I included two student samples. One was the highest grade in the class, and the second was one of the lowest grades in the class, just showing the two extremes of the answering. And they actually didn't vary so much in idea, just in the way they presented the material and articulated their answers. So that was the summation of the, of the unit plan. Um, I hope you enjoyed looking through all the paperwork, and I'm sorry it's so late. Thank you. Have a good night.